Did you know that the Montgomery County Office of Consumer Protection offers a Speakers Bureau for community organizations, consumer groups, businesses, and others? The latest educational forum, sponsored and organized by County Council Member Sidney Katz, was held at the Bora Park Activity Center in Gaithersburg. Here are some highlights. Old scams don't die, they just get reinvented. It's not like consumer protection and problems and scams didn't happen many years ago, they did. Now today, our society is just very much more complicated. It's not as simple as it used to be. It used to be when you wrote a check to somebody, we could look at the back of the check, see who cashed it, go after the bad guy. But now, bad guys can rip us off without us ever seeing them. October 27th, an email message that I received um, and it says, Dear Eric Freeman, we noticed your email account has almost exceeded its limit, and you may not be able to send or receive messages at any moment from now. Click here to renew your account. Uh, notice, failure to renew your email account, it will be permanently disabled. I mean, totally ridiculous, just trick, trying to trick you, or trick me, or trick all of us, into clicking something. Anytime you advertise something on Craigslist, you're going to be subject to some type of scam. And this, this is one in which uh, it's a real tricky scam. You order, you're just selling something on Craigslist for $100, and you're going to get somebody that's going to say, I want to buy it, but I'm going to send you a little bit too much money. So if you're, you're selling it for $90, I'm going to send you a check for $100 because there's some crazy story. I've got $100 or whatever. So just send me the $10, $10 back and we'll be fine. You'll see that with rentals and everything else. And sure enough, um, you then think that that's real. You send them the change, the $10 back, and the check that they sent to you is no good. Never respond to suspicious emails or pop-ups or robocalls. Uh, never email personal information. Um, you know, the thing is we've gotten really good about locking our front doors and locking our car doors, uh, but wrong, one wrong click on the computer and you're open to all sorts of scams. So just, just keep that in mind. Um, here's an easy one, really. Trust your instincts. When it comes to your house, what do you think is the most dangerous item with respect to financial harm in your house? Here it is, right there. <laughs> when that phone rings, you have, you have no idea who's on the other end of that phone. Uh, keep in mind, it is the same as your wallet. If, you, if they can trick you by one way or another to give information over the phone um, in terms of your credit card numbers or accounts or, or whatever, uh, it really can just cause all sorts of problems. To book a speaker, go to montgomerycountymd.gov consumer.